Hey, hello again, ladies and gentlemen, Kavya the Mark here. Uh, so today we are going to take a short uh, flight from uh, Montreal to Chicago. Uh, very short, actually. And I'm just going to show you around the cockpit a little bit. Let's see. So I'm just going to show you on the cockpit a little bit. So this is our 747 cockpit, of course. So here to my left, we have the electronic flight bag where it shows us our flight plan in pink there, the airport we're in right now, and a very useful piece of equipment. So here we have the <coughs> primary flight display, the artificial horizon. Here it shows you the altitude. Here is going to show the rate of climb. Uh, here is going to be the speed. And here we have our awareness display, a navigation, navigation display. So here we know the weather, we know the airports around us, uh, GPS and, uh, and the pre-planned uh, flight plan and everything and all the waypoints. Also the distance to our um, destination and the ground speed this this screen here has a lot of information so here we have a auxiliary artificial display meaning if this one here fails we still have this one here uh, it's uh, it's it's a spare artificial horizon if you want to call it that way here is the engine's information so the upper acres the lower acres so here it shows you the trust levels systems this does a system check, make sure everything is 100%. The gear is going to be here. The uh, flaps, the flaps going to be here. How much fuel we have. <clears throat> and here is the pressure, manifold pressures and so on and so forth. And uh, here we have the lower acres. And we also have the surfaces, as you can see there. As you can see there, when we move the surfaces, so that moves see as you can see okay and here we have the uh, fmc's flight management uh, computers this is the landing gear of course lever over here we have the idle pilot um, uh, module ephis and uh, let's see what else can i show you so this is the, of course of the throttle assembly right here that's the throttle right there okay these are the reversers the uh, the the flaps this is the spoilers or air brakes then of course here we have all the communication apparatus so we have the radios here we have the um, transponder and all the other radios and all the trimmings and uh, you can imagine everything is there and we are not finished yet then of course we have the overhead panel and here is all the controls for the lights and the engines start the engines and the electrical this is more considered like the electrical panel in your house this is the electrical panel for the 747 and over here would be same as your house has your fuses fuse panel these are your fuses right here more or less and the other controls in the back here so there is an enormous amount of switches and uh, and uh, buttons and so on and so forth um, okay so this is the the back of the cockpit right here all right as you can see and what else can i show you so we're going to be taking off very soon okay okay so we're going to call the uh ground agent to push us back we're gonna get on our way
We're gonna wait for the agent to call us, and we're gonna get on our way. So the noise you hear right now is not the engines yet. We haven't started the engines yet. The noise is the APU or auxiliary power unit, just to keep everything powered up. And here's the switch, as you can see. Okay, hold on as we prepare the aircraft for pushback. We got her. So once we start a pushback, the engine, the uh, the uh, cockpit is going to do a system check, so going to hear a bunch of warnings. That's perfectly normal, just to make sure everything is uh, 100%. So we're going to release the parking brake. <laughs> okay, start the pushback. Terrain. Full at minimums. Full at. Wind here. Wind here. Wind here. Minimums. Approaching minimums. Full at. Too low here. Too low. Light. Start engines. So I'm going to show you how we start the engines in this thing. Wind here. Wind here. Main angle. Sink rate. So as you can see, we're getting pushed back. So they give us the go ahead to start our engines. So we're going to start engine number four first. Okay, so once the pressure reaches 2.6, we are going to open the fuel valve over here. There you go. So first engine is on, as you can see over there. These are still off. So now we're going to start engine number one. Valve open. Now we wait. All right. And then we're going to start engine two. And last but not least, number three. And all four engines are now running, as you can see, everything is nominal, everything is good, the flight path is uh, ready to go, laid out, this is where we are right now, okay, so everything is good. So they asked us to set the parking brakes, parking brake set. So we're going to tune the radius 121-900. So everything is good. Wait for your hand signal on the right hand side, thank you.
If there is a need to so abide, initial altitude of 10,000. will guide you to the nearest emergency exit. Access are located as indicated. Please note the one nearest you. Les issues de secours se trouvent aux endroits indiqués. Veuillez repérer celles qui est à l'ouvrage de vous. Une carte dans la pochette de votre vous indique les nombreux éléments de sécurité à cet endroit. Veuillez en prendre connaissance avant le décollage. The OCA So they give us uh, the uh, runway, they give us a six left. So as you can see, 6 is going to be over here, meaning 60 degrees, so we are here right now, so we're going to have to taxi this way and go over here, so we can take off, okay? So let's get moving. So as you can see, we're taxiing towards the runway, six left. Okay, beautiful day for flying. Temperature is 15 degrees Celsius. Everything is good. Thank you for choosing Air Canada. We hope you enjoy the flight. Okay on the left. Okay on the left. We're almost there. We're going to stop here and we're going to ask for permission to take off and then we're going to take off. Alright. It's all good. So they just give us the okay to go ahead, so we're gonna line up on the runway. And we should be getting going within 30 seconds here. Approaching zero six left. All right. One runway zero six left. 
and we are good to go. So now this last system checks, make sure everything is 100%. Make sure we've done everything we're supposed to do. And we're good. Ready. Good to go. As you can see, we have initial altitude set for 10,000, so we're going to go up to 10,000 and reset everything or readjust everything, 2,000 feet per minute. This is our heading right now, but it's a linear navigation, which means the computer will follow the flight plan right here, so the airplane is slowly but surely getting onto the pink line here, and this is our initial speed for now. Up to 10,000 feet we can only go to 250 knots because of noise abatement rules. Up to 10,000 feet we can do pretty much whatever we need to do. Okay? So that's just our initial setup. Everything is good. Everything is nominal. No issues whatsoever. Everything is perfect. Everything is normal.
see you guys in a few minutes once we reach cruising altitude. Fifteen thousand feet now. So going up, of course. Ladies and gentlemen, we have now reached 34,000 feet, level 340, and uh, we're flying at 497 knots an hour, uh, 497 knots right now. Everything is 100%. Uh, as you can see, we're right on the flight plan. Everything is nominal, and we're about an hour and 16 minutes from destination. And about 570 miles, nautical miles. And uh, so I'm going to break the video for a few minutes or until we get close to the airport and then turn it back on just before landing, okay? Thank you. Everything is good out there. Looks beautiful. There you go. So, ladies and gentlemen, we have uh, initiated our descent towards Chicago. Okay, so we are now about 112 nautical miles from Chicago. Everything is 100%. As you can see, we're going down right here. There you go. It's all good. And I will see you in uh, 10 minutes or so. Okay, so we are preparing for our final descent. We're about uh, five minutes from the airport, 12,000 feet. So everything is looking good. As you can see, the airport, we're right here right now. The airport is right here. So we're pretty close, about five, six minutes to go. Tables are stored. 
Any hand right and she will be there to meet the city in front of you. For blade in the overhead right. locker. The right hand has been the passing right through the cabin while we're off time to complete the final and complete check and to collect any remaining cups or glasses. So they want us to land on runway 27 right, which is that one over there. That's central, that's that's left. So this is the one we're going to. So we're gonna line up to it. Transition altitude. Check. Altimeters. 1,000 to go. to see the runway very soon. Okay, go ahead. 
500. Approaching 27 right. Too fast. Too fast. 400. Truck. Approaching minimums. 300. Minimums.
follow my car. See where it's going to take us. Approaching zero nine right. Approaching zero four left. Taking us for a ride. All right, so that's what they want us. So let me show you here what's going on. So see that fellow over there, it's waving the, the 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 two red cones. He's guiding us. Okay, let me get him a little bit closer. There you go, can you see them? And... And stop. Alright. So, parking brakes. Parking brakes, set. Yeah. We're going to shut down the engines. It's all good. The noise here right now is the uh, finger getting closer to us. Walkway. Okay, so so ladies and gentlemen, we're in Chicago now. So thank you very much for watching, and we shall see you next time. And uh, bye bye now.